Hey everybody, Standing Ovation back with another break, and it's UFC time. I got a single box of UFC Opt Fighting Cards. Okay, this won't take long. I am not the huge, huge UFC fan that I used to be. Actually, I was never a huge fan. I've always been a fan, but I haven't followed it as closely as some of you guys out there that watch. I see the comments coming in and cloudsy. Yeah, the guy's knowledge is far extreme compared to mine. Not a lot of people watch my UFC videos. I'm a hockey breaker at heart, but I like watching good fight. That's why uh, hockey's, you know, still fun to watch, you know, though they don't fight as much. Anyway, that's hockey. This is UFC. I, I, the guys and the girls that are in this, I'm still learning a lot of these names and faces. The veteran content I'm way more familiar at. One more time, just looking at the box, the side of the box. It's optic, so there's got to be lots of good stuff in here. I've ripped a lot of optic lately, but let's go optic. UFC. What do we got? We got Peter Yan, Dreykus Duplessis, Paulo Costa, Brandon Moreno, and a Chris Gutierrez Optic Prism. Or, yeah, there it is, Prism down below. Chris Gutierrez. That's a cool looking card. Rated rookie. I don't know how, again, how solid rookies are in UFC. Like in hockey, rookies are the bomb. But, I mean, obviously, there's some guys that... I know GSP, when you hit him, you've got a good guy. Whether it's a rookie or not, everybody loves GSP. And this guy's got a lot of popularity. I don't know, a lot of people hate him, too. Conor McGregor, Armin Sarkurian. Sar Sarukian. Okay, I'm bad with the... I'm bad with those names from that part of the world. Gail Sonnen. And a rated rookie of Paul Rojas. Rosas. And what's the lighted up Holly Holm? Looks exactly like the optic football cards I've pulled have lighted up. Holly Holm. Well, before I, I saw a couple of these on the shelf. Before I ripped more than one box, I thought I'd take a quick peek at it. Because, again, my knowledge is lacking in this sport. Daniel Cormier, big, big heavyweight there. Nuramagov, Miram, Nuro, Nurmagomedov, something like that. Maybe, again, sorry for all you people from that part of Russia. Islam Makachev. There's a, my host, Jan Blankovitz. That's a cool looking card. I skipped over the man in Fioro, Fioro base card. I got this Jan Blakovic. Is it a purple? Looks like maybe it's a purple parallel. My house. Kevin Holland. Sean Brady. Justin Gatchi. Jessica Andrade. And an optic prism Rob Font. Uh, Rob Font. I, again, not a name I have very familiar with, but that's not surprising. I don't use that font. More of a Helvicta or an Ariel. All right, let's go. John Bones Jones. Mohammed Belal Mohammed. Alexander Volkovonsky. Vol Volkanovsky. Vol Alexander Volkanovsky. Talia Santos. And a purple Cormier parallel. That's cool. Purple prisms are not uh, numbered. They're usually a retail hit, from my knowledge of optic. Daniel Cormier, purple parallel. Let's go to this last pack. Thanks again for watching. Tap that like button, subscribe to the channel. Check out all my other videos. I might do this one more time. It's not a super expensive box for an optic box, 40 bucks Canadian. 50 for optic boxes up here. Tisha Torres, Uriah Faber. That guy's still around. And, or is it just an older card? Like a. Yeah, I'm not sure how many of these people are actually current. Macy Barber. Hey, I got one numbered. Got Mo oh, it's an autograph. Hey, Mohammed Mokayev, flyweight, but dominators. But there you go, signature C series. Aljamain Sterling numbered 
to 199, 97 of 199. I have no idea if that's a big hit or a medium sized hit, but again, out of a blaster box, whenever you get an autograph, it's a win. Cool. And it reminds me again, I gotta go and work a little harder following the UFC. At least go to the next fight night. Okay, well, there's a blaster box of optic. One rated rookie, that's it, just that one. All the rest were bases, base cards. Yeah, looking at the back, and I don't see anything above 100 except for that one card. So the rated rookies, I don't know how many there are, but at least 15. And the Dominators. That was a win with the auto. If there's more there the next time I'm back at Wally World, and I haven't spent all of my money on my groceries, I might squirrel away another one of these. Thanks for watching. Keep on collecting. Have a great 2024.